deficit was shattered in the 20th minute. It started when Neil Slatter mishit a back pass, and it was only the quick-thinking Brian Williams who robbed England striker Tony Woodcock. From the corner, Tommy Caton's header hit the crossbar and ricocheted in off the back of Ray Cashley. The only noise in the ground came from the 700 or so Arsenal fans. Hopes of rescuing some pride from the game came for over 60 seconds into the second half. Steve White smashed a vicious shot past the helpless Pat Jennings to tie it all up. White's delight included a kiss to the fans. Tony Woodcock caused major headaches for Rover's defence, so much so that Cashley was forced to bring him down for a penalty. Woodcock electing to take the spot kick himself, Cashley picked the right way to dive, much to the delight of the 10,000 fans. Rover's first chance of winning the second leg came when Steve White nodded a header into the ever-alert hands of Northern Ireland international Pat Jennings. Thus ended a fascinating cup time, and for a change it was the visiting side who were swamped by eager autograph hunters. Rovers losing 5-1 on aggregate.